Let's go through the number one attack vector, email. Email is so cheap. The uh, For my own organization, I, I, I think we're at uh, 350,000 emails sent a month. I mean, maybe 450,000 emails sent a month. I mean, it's, it's incredible, the volume. And with each one of those campaigns, we get, uh, we get back like a 5% response rate. I mean, uh, we get something like a 25 or 26% engagement. I mean, that's incredible on the number of people that interact with us. And what was amazing during the course of COVID is it increased the number of people who were reading their email, interacting with their newsletters, uh, joining our webinars and sessions increased uh, in the last two years where we were all starting to think that email was going away. It didn't. Email became uh, the communication vector of choice and the, it became the attack vector and the communication uh, method of choice during the course of COVID and who knows if Teams and Chaps and Snap this and, and whatever else is going to come out next uh, may be it, but email is still number one. It's cheap, easy to do. You can improve the cycles. It's effective and uh, and it keeps getting exploited. So. Uh, uh, there's some metrics up here, right? Incredibly high percentage of malware is delivered over email. Uh, it, I list out how much uh, is lost every minute uh, due to phishing attacks. You know, people who fill out the forms and they think they're doing the right things and then all of a sudden they do it. Um, um, a sister agency that we have, this, you know, I showed this a while back about one of the acquisitions we did. It's called Messaging Architects. The staff at Messaging Architects are top notch. They, uh, and really they're all around uh, designing, uh, migrating, leveraging, enhancing the use of email platforms. So uh, the key item here is that for our customer base, you know, we knew that mail was become so essential to the organization. We focused on it and we bought one of the best team messaging architects to help our customers out partner with a consultant or someone that knows mail. They have to know mail. Simply setting up the user accounts and, and removing users is not enough. They need to understand how to keep up with uh, the proper ways to format mail and to assure that where the messages are being sent from are, are really the people trying to send the message.